welcome back to my channel. I apologize for not uploading for a hot second. I have been real busy these past few weeks. I've been writing part of my own manuscript. I wrote about 20,000 words in the past three weeks. So I've been doing that and uh, reading, uh, bleaching and dyeing my hair because that took fucking forever because it takes a million years to get black box dye out of your hair if you didn't know and I just got a new job so I've been worrying about that and it's just been really hectic but I am back for my May wrap up and my June TBR. I read quite a few books in May more than I usually read uh, but I'm going to limit the amount of books I'm planning on reading in June because I just want it to be realistic and I want to be able to focus on my writing as well because I'm going to try to get my manuscript finished soon. Super fun. Can't wait to talk to you guys about that. Before we get started, I just wanted to ask you guys to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, again, I would love if I could hit uh, a thousand subscribers by my birthday, which is July 15th. So that'd be super fun and fresh if you just like told your friends to subscribe to me or like your mom, your dad, someone who likes to read, you know, that'd be super fun. Anyways, let's get into this wrap up and TBR. So first, and I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on these books because I already talked about them in my last video and uh, the video before that one, my uh, first reading vlog, I talked about both of these books. So I just wanted to, share that I read The Flat Chair. Loved it, adored it, five stars, incredible adult romance, and I'm obsessed. And Counting Down With You by Tashi Beyond, a uh, debut novel, uh, young adult, fake dating, incredible. They both are very tropey. Like there's some books and romances that you read that aren't super tropey, but like this is the roommate trope, like obviously, and this is fake dating trope. Like, I enjoyed both of those books uh, and I read them both really, really quickly and I think you should go check them out. I haven't seen tons of people talk about The Flat Share. Uh, I really found it at Half Price Books and I'd never heard of it before, but the premise sounded really great. So I bought it and then my best friend was like, oh my God, you got that book? I've been wanting to read it forever. And I was like, I've never heard of it before in my life. And then I went and looked on Twitter and some people have read it. Uh, so check it out. Roommates. Super fun. I love them, actually. Next, I finally read All Roads Lead Here, and oh my gosh. Okay, let me talk about this. At first, I didn't think I was going to like it because nowhere in the description did it mention that this man is like pushing retirement home age. So I was like, hmm. I don't think I'm gonna like this because I don't I don't have daddy issues like I've said before so I don't find older men attractive like it's not something that I'm into but the romance was so good that I just ignored it and pretended like he was like 30 something but it was so adorable oh my gosh this is like one of the first small town romances I've ever read because they usually don't interest me very much like I don't care it's usually very western or like it just I'm from a small town why would I care about reading a small town romance as always Mariana Zapata you've done it again like you stunned me I had to keep myself from laughing so hard that I woke my neighbors up in a couple scenes because they were hilarious Aurora and Rhodes are just incredible and I also didn't think I was gonna like it as much because it's not one of Mariana Zapata's sports romances but I did I liked it more than I liked Colty even so but yeah I really adored that book and I can't wait to read more of Mariana Zapata's books next a book I was not expecting to love as much as I did one of us is lying. Oh my God. I can't even talk about this book without getting so excited because it's incredible. Like full stop incredible. I love it. The characters love every single one of them. I love that there's multiple point of views 
and you have like options like as to who's your favorite character, do not get me started on Nate and Bronwyn. Hello? I cannot believe how incredible Nate and Bronwyn are. Like every scene, every single scene slapped. When she played the piano for him, slap. Every time they were on the phone watching movies, slap. Like every single one. They did not have a bad track. It's insane. Also, the plot really, really got me. I was not expecting anything that happened at all, like 0%. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything that could spoil you if you haven't read it yet, because this is a book you don't wanna be spoiled for. Like, it's so incredible and so good and shocking, and you're going to love it if you read it. It was five stars across the board for me. Every single character, five stars. I'm so excited for this TV show. You have no idea. Every fucking actor, perfect for their role. I don't care what anyone says about Nate. I think he's cute, so. Also, I really hope they make Addie a mean girl in the show because then she'll be my 100% favorite character. Like it's between Nate and Addie, like hands down. And of course, next I read One of Us is Next and this has to do with Bronwyn's sister Maeve, her best friend Knox, and then one more character, Phoebe, who is introduced. Uh, and it is pretty interesting, not as good as One of Us is Lying, but we still have our uh, Bayview 4 in uh, One of Us is Next. So they do make appearances and we get some really good Nate win scenes. Uh, Nate calls him and Bronwyn Endgame and that's super cute and I loved it. Uh, but I did think this one was really interesting. Uh, I just didn't think it was as revolutionary as the first one, which was incredible. But we still get the same whodunit, mystery, murder, uh, terrorizing high school students, gossip, secrets, all of it. Like, it's so fucking good. And the ending? Holy shit, I was not expecting the ending. Like, you won't be expecting what you're about to read. It's fucking insane. Next, I read Hands Down by Mariana Zapata, and oh my god, absolutely one of my new favorites by Mariana Zapata. I've only read five of her books, so right now I'd have to say, in order, I love From Luke Off With Love the most, Hands Down is second, Wall of Winnipeg and Me is third, All Roads Lead Here is fourth, and Culty is fifth. So those are, that's my order as of right now, but I'm planning on reading Wait For It, Underlock, Luna and the Lie, and however many others she has. I'm gonna rank all of her books. One day I'm gonna finish reading all of them and then I'm going to tier rank uh, all of them together. And I'm really excited for that. But Zach and Bianca, so good, incredible, so cute. Like the childhood best friends to strangers to friends to lovers again. Like, oh my God. And at first I wasn't so sure because Zach, I love Zach from The Wall of Winnipeg and Me, right? I wasn't so sure that he was gonna be the, a good love interest considering the first like 50 pages of Hands Down. But once you keep reading and you figure out like things, it becomes incredible. Like you're like, oh my gosh, of course. Like he's perfect. Like no one could ever surpass him. And we get an Ivan and Jasmine uh, cameo for Halloween and it is so cute. Oh my God, do not, do not. I'm getting actually like worked up right now. It is adorable. I love Mariana Zapata's writing. Who's doing it like her? No one. And that is it for the books that I read in May. So let's get started on my June TBR. I wanted to preface this by saying that I am only honestly wanting to read new releases this month. I need to catch up on all of the new releases that I have not read yet. Uh, and I, so I'm not reading any like books that were published a while ago or like last year. Like these are all books that have come out like within the last 
month. Also, these are in no specific order. Uh, I'm gonna read whichever one I wanna read first uh, when I get to it. Uh, so I'm just saying like what I wanna read this month and not like in a super specific order. So first uh, is One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. This just came out. Uh, I am already reading it and I, don't even do this to me, Casey McQuiston, you're writing incredible. I love, love, love Casey's writing style and their characters are so complex and just cool. I'm only on page like 50. I already love August and Nico and Myla and Jane and oh my god, they're so cute. And I've been waiting for this for a really long time. Uh, good old sapphic book. Uh, girls, loving girls for Pride Month. Obsessed with it. Uh, cannot wait to keep reading and be able to do a makeup review for this book. That's right. That is coming as well. I will be doing a makeup review for One Last Stop once I finish it. And I'm really excited for you all to see that and to figure out what I think of this book. Next is Ace of Spades and I have been wanting to read this for so 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 long and even before I knew what the premise of it was this cover is just so gorgeous like the layout of it and then how do you stop an unknown enemy like it's giving me Gossip Girl, One of Us is Lying, Murder, Mystery, Dark Academia, Beautiful People, vibes and I'm pretty sure it's Sapphic and Achillean but I could be wrong uh, but I'm pretty sure there's a FF and MM couple but Aiden Thomas also reviewed this book and said it is a phenomenal debut and if you don't already know I adored Cemetery Boys and I still need to read Lost in the Never Woods but I trust Aiden Thomas's opinion. But this just looks so, so, so incredible and I cannot wait to dive into this book. I've heard it is so good from so many authors and so many other people. Um, Mayana, uh, she finished it in like a day and rated it five stars. So I'm expecting this to be like a five star, cannot put it down read. Next is Mr. Impossible, which is book two of the Dreamer Trilogy, uh, which is a sequel series. Not really sequel series, but like a continuation, but not really a continuation. It has nothing to do with it for the Raven Cycle. And Kayla, hats off to you. This will be coming after one last stop because you will kill me if I actually pick up another book before Mr. Impossible. First, I just wanted to address I hate this fucking title and this fucking cover, except she looks gorgeous, but the rest of it, not good. It's so ugly. It's so bad. It looks like it should be a mass market paperback Western book mixed with spies. But anyways, I'm really excited to see what happens. I've been able to dodge spoilers so far for this. I don't really know what's going on. Like, honestly, I don't remember a lot of what happened in Call Down the Hawk. Like, it was a, almost two years ago and it was confusing as is. So we'll see if I am able to remember what's happening. Even though I do have a theory I doubt it's happened because I haven't seen anything about it. The visionaries in the book that can see like the future and like the end of the world, they end up dying like Parsifal did in the first book. And I think our magician Adam Parrish is going to end up being one of these visionaries and that means his fate is to die, but I don't know if that's going to happen because Maggie Stiefvater has said she doesn't like relationship drama, whatever, like, give me the angst. Next is Honey and Ishu's Guide to Fake Dating, and oh my gosh, I loved The Henna Wars, so I know I'm gonna love this. It is going to be such a quick read. Uh, it's fake dating trope, which, as you all know, is an incredible trope. If you don't like fake dating, what are you doing? It's so good. But this cover is so, so, so adorable, as you can already see, and I want to read it so bad. I know if I just started it right now, I could read it in like one sitting and be done and 
have experienced the joy that is reading this book, but I will control myself and read one last stop and mission Mr. Impossible first. I fucking hate that title. And lastly, for this month, I plan on reading People We Meet on Vacation. And I don't really remember the tropes for this. It was like best friends to strangers to going on vacation together, I think. I'm not sure. It kind of gives me Unhoneymooners vibes, but like without the enemies. And also I haven't read the Unhoneymooners yet. Um, don't yell at me. I will. I'm going to. I just haven't yet. But this looks incredible. It's rated so, so, so high. My mutuals on Twitter all say it's like a five star read and that Alex and Poppy? Yes, the Alex and Poppy are such good characters and they have like a sharing the bed moment and just like really, really great tropes and scenes and really great writing is what I've heard. I'm absolutely sure this is going to live up to the hype. Uh, the Goodreads rating has like over 10,000 ratings already and it's like 4.6 stars or something like that. So I'm really, really excited to pick up this book. But yeah, that is it for my May wrap up and June TBR. Uh, I read some really great books and I'm planning on reading some really great books and I absolutely cannot wait. My next video is 100% going to be my one last stop makeup book review. Uh, so make sure to check for that in the next few days, hoping by like Tuesday, but we'll see. But yeah, uh, please make sure to like this video, uh, comment below if you've read any of the books I'm planning on reading and what you think of them. Uh, or if you've read the books that I just read in May and if you agreed with what I thought about them. Also, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm so, so, so close to a thousand and I really want to hit that goal. Anyways, I will see you guys next week. Bye!